here to introduce Bradley. No, thanks, Coach. He's making me do this. Just on the record. And this is, uh, this is Jake Green up down here. Hi, Jake. So, uh, oh my. This, uh, I got to tell you the store behind this, otherwise you'll just think, who's this? <laughs> you'll probably think that anyway. But, uh, so it was like 1989, we were going to Sweden, summer of 89, and Coach K said, uh, we need we need to do some fundraisers. And I thought, well, let's see. You know, back then, as politically incorrect as it was, they were doing some dwarf tossing and bars. You know, they put a, put a, uh, a, 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 a harness, Velcro stuff, in the ground and they throw them and toss them, right? And so we went to Lysel and he said, absolutely not. But, so we, uh, we piddled around and, and came up with our own routine. And uh, I think we even came back on a Friday night. Was anybody there that Friday night that Tommy showed up? Anybody? Nobody remembers it. It was a hit. Um, so, and then we worked football camps. And, and after that, I think we went to Vegas for a couple years and traveled around. So, anyway, so this is uh, Tommy, the dwarf. No, no, uh, it's not modeled after Tom Jones or anything like that. So, uh, so this is Tom. Man. Sorry, Tom. All's fair this morning, right? We're all cool. We're all good. We're good. Right, Coach Sambo? We're all good. So far. Uh -oh. All right, so here, this is Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with me, and I'll take you. And, and he did. Weird place. <laughs> he made me promise he'd never tell. And I, so I never have, but he, he figured it for some reason. He didn't think I could really uh, ever play for Bethany. So he said, I got a perfect job for you. Two things. I want you to teach us how to stretch, because I was really flexible. I could, oh, snap. <laughs> Oh wait, we gotta do this right though. You remember that? We always had to stretch this muscle right here really good too. Does that that muscle it just it's, you pull out muscle and you're in a lot of trouble. Right there. Gotta pull stretch that muscle real good so. And then that co Coach K, he said, I really need you to be, and I'm like, yeah, 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 I said, I really think you could help us if you would be the assistant to the assistant equipment manager. And I thought about that for a little bit, and I thought, well, I'd, I'd love to do that, because I love, like, helmets and shoulder pads. So, we have uh, helmets and shoulder pads. <laughs> yeah. Great. It's going great, Jake. <laughs> Gunger. So, uh, yeah, what you guys didn't know is while you were over in Warner Hall studying biology and chemistry and anatomy and stuff like that, there was a joke there too. I would uh, I'd sneak over, or not, I'd go to the locker room because it was my job and I would check out your helmets, your shoulder pads, and, and I even, because I cared so much about you guys, I even checked out and put on your protective cup. And I would check them to make sure. <laughs> like that. I didn't put a protective cup in. <laughs> in my testicles or in my shoulder pad. But, oh, speaking of testicles, that reminds me, is Coach Sambo here? <laughs> there he is. I remember when I came here, I thought, if I I noticed Coach Sambo would yell at people. Like he, he'd be like, come on boys, we only gotta score one more touchdown the Dodgers defense gives up. <laughs> oh, and, and one time he said, Kutner, just remember we're in the blue and gold this week when you throw a pass. <laughs> Sorry, Dick. <laughs> But I thought if I could get him 
to yell at me. Then I'd really be somebody. I think I'm hurting Jake. I thought if I could just get Coach Sambo to yell at me, I would, I could go places. That would, it's like he yelled at everybody that was good. So I thought I'd get him to yell at me, and I thought I'll, uh... Oh, I just remembered a story. I gotta go back. Do you guys remember at the beginning of the season, we always had that meeting at Strobel Gibson? Remember that one? It was one where Coach Kessler would pull us in, he'd say, he'd say, Ben, I don't want to hear you use that four-letter word beginning with F referring to sexual intercourse. <laughs> you remember that meeting? <laughs> I do too, and I still haven't figured out what the heck he was talking about. <laughs> where was I? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, I thought if I did Coach Sambo to yell at me, I'd be somebody, so here's what I did. I didn't put ice in the ice water. So the ice water was just water. It wasn't ice because there wasn't any ice in the ice water. Are you with me? <laughs> so, we're sitting there at practice. And the Al Coach Sambo wasn't out yet. And I looked over at the Alvin's players and said, hey, I put ice. I didn't put ice in the ice water. It's just water. There's no ice. It's not ice water. And they were looking at me. And I remember thinking, maybe these guys can tell me what sexual intercourse is. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> so here comes Coach Sambo walking out of Han Jim like John Wayne in a Western. <laughs> And he came over and, and he, he poured a little water. He took a drink and he looked at it. He said, Tommy, you little peckerhead. <laughs> and from that day on, I was known as Sambo's little peckerhead. <laughs>